Thank you, Esso, for sponsoring this video. I had an amazing time spending quality time with Gary. Stay tuned for the highlights. How do you manage to have intimacy with three kids always around? It's not easy. Do you feel like people think you're my dad? I think, yeah, I think there are times when people think I'm your dad. He's so big, I'm scared. He's not a pigeon. Well, that's nice. Look, I cried on the Ferris wheel. Are you crying for real? Yeah. Hi, guys. So today I decided to cancel Monday and make it into a quality time day for Gary and I. But will it really be quality? I think so. I planned a bunch of like random stuff for us to do and it's like a road trip for us to spend some quality time together but also to catch up with each other. We're doing this road trip that Valeria has planned and I don't know where she's taking us. I don't know. We are doing this like Q&A because I feel like with Q&As we start talking about things and in the previous videos we, we did actually like I enjoyed it. I enjoy all the videos Valeria puts me into. Because you love the attention. I don't love the attention. You love the spotlight. I don't love the spotlight. That's nonsense and you That's know how it. you sound different. <laughs> how do you manage to have intimacy with three kids always around? It's not easy. I guess that, like because we travel often at least that kind of gives us some space from them. It's a big uh, house. It's good. How do you deal with getting upset or annoyed with each other? I feel like I shut down. I prefer to like not speak or communicate until I take a deep breath and just like calm myself down. I don't want to explode or just like say things that I can't take back later. We have to disagree on things in order to grow. The key thing is the ability to resolve conflict. Conflict will happen. You are going to argue. You will have disagreements. How do you resolve that conflict? Do you put your ego away to come to an amicable agreement or are you debating and arguing to get the upper hand? I read something. It was so good. When you argue, when you have a disagreement, you have to remember that it's you and him versus the problem, not you versus him. What are some things that Gary learned from you? What a good question! I learned patience. But it's not from me, it's because of me. It's not from you, it's because of you, know, you're right. I learned from you that just because you have an argument with somebody, it doesn't mean the relationship's over. Not giving up on a relationship is one of the huge things that I learned from you. What is your favorite trait of Gary's and vice versa? I feel like in situations where it's like very intense, you stay calm. And I feel like it brings strength to me and just like feeling that everything's gonna be okay. You're like a root, you know? You're like solid, you like a... Yeah. Uh, we have a little problem here. Uh, the problem is, is that we have no gas. So I think, I think there's I think there's a gas station around here. Yeah, there's an SO right here. Now what is my your favorite trait about me? I know a lot of people are gonna say it's because you're really pretty. That's what people think. That's not a trait, is it? Being attractive is I know, maybe not. I don't know. My favorite thing about you is that you're really smart. You know? That's my absolute favorite trait. I feel like now, because you just mentioned that I'm very smart, I think this would be a great time to show you how I remember what kind of gas we use for this car. We're gonna continue with the questions, but first I wanna impress you. I wanna impress you with putting gas in the car. Meaning you're gonna delegate to me to put gas in the car? No, I'm gonna put the gas in the car. You're gonna put the gas in the car? Yeah, I'm gonna use the cheap one. No, 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 no. Why? Why? She gonna buy. go. No, stop. When you go to the ESO station, you use Synergy Supreme. Oh, you're getting very passionate about it. I am it. very passionate about it. I'm a car guy. You know I'm a car guy. Synergy Supreme. I don't know why I took the initiative to do this instead of Gary. Thank you for the hat. This is so nice. I don't feel the camera angle is fully appreciating my hat right now. All right. Look at this, I match. I'm just gonna get my gloves on, and then we're gonna get going. <laughs> Where do you think you go? <laughs> I leave you for literally five minutes, and you still manage to find fashion. So we are on Niagara on the lake. It's such a cute, quaint little, oh my God, you came out with the hat, wow. I found this cute little sushi place. It is really cute here. It is cute, right? I just thought it's gonna be a little nicer weather. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, stop again. I wanna go huh? now, I wanna huh? go. Oh, it keeps spinning. Did we ever have a serious fight? I don't think we've ever had a serious fight. I mean, in, 
almost eight years of marriage, I've never slept on the couch. So, I don't know, that tells me that we've never had a serious fight. True. What's the longest time apart that you guys are okay to spend? Honestly? I feel like the longest was, I think it was before we had kids that I went to Israel for like two weeks. What's the age difference between you two and what have you learned about it, the good and the bad? So, our age difference is 18 years. You would think that me being 18 years older than you, I would have to be running around to... I would have to be running around after you, but I feel like I have more energy than you do. I just want to retire and wear linen all day. So, were you pleasantly so- Oh my god, look, it looks like from a movie! What movie is it, you think? I don't know, like back home for Christmas or something? I think they had this in Gremlins. They had a town like this. Well, that. I like Gremlins. So now we are on our way to our next destination. Is it still a secret or can you tell me what it is? We're gonna go get some relaxation. How do you two manage your bank accounts? Separate or joint accounts? Everything is joint. I think I'm just old fashioned. I know there are some people who separate everything off once they get married. But to me, it's like we're, we're married. Everything is together, so. How do you handle jealousy acting out with the boys? I'm struggling with my five-year-old. I feel like when they don't have enough attention, they'll act out, which is kind of a signal for myself and Gary to plan some more one-on-one -on -one time with them so they feel like they have their own space with the parent. So I think that's important. Acting out usually, they're trying to get your attention. If you're struggling with that, then maybe like find ways where it really is just you and your son. You don't have to do anything extravagant, just like quality time. How do you know that Gary appreciates you? How do you know that I appreciate you? You're catering to my needs and I feel like you try to do your best to make things easier for me. My mission is to make you happy. By making you happy, I make the children happy and by you and the children being happy, I'm happy. So I do whatever it takes. Okay babe, so we are here. We're gonna do a little spa treatment. We're gonna get a massages. Yeah. And then we're gonna continue to some other stuff. So can I read the question? Yeah. This one person wrote, people assume my boyfriend is my dad. How do you guys deal with this and the stares? Do you feel like people think you're my dad? I think, yeah, I think there are times when people think I'm your dad, but... I really? Don't... Yeah, I think so. But like a cool dad, you know? Not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. Okay. People can think what they want. We have a great marriage. We have three beautiful kids. We have a business together. The fact that people will look and make comments or stare, it shouldn't matter. And to the person who asked this question, I don't think it should matter to you either. Because you know, at the end of the day, you have to live your life. Yeah, I feel the same. I feel like I don't really have opinions about it anymore. I think I was sensitive about it before when we just started dating. Really? Yeah, because I was like, oh, my, what might think about me, whatever. I felt like I need to prove people something, but there's no use of spending any time or energy thinking about how to make other people comfortable with my life. This is the Butterfly Conservatory and there's butterflies everywhere. I've always wanted to come here. I'm happy that you're living your dream. <gasps> Look how big this one is! Oh, 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 oh. How do I do so they like can't put this on me? Whatever it is that you're doing now, I don't think will work. What is that even supposed to be? Like a house in a safe space. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Don't step on them, okay? You see, one is chilling there on the floor. Oh, uh, babe, he's dead. Oh no, he is? He's dead. Keep oh, going. I'm so sad. Just do it. Put your finger in front of him. He's so big, I'm scared. He's not a pigeon. He felt your negative vibes. I'm jealous of you. I accomplished something that you have strived for. That is, we've entered this realm of the butterfly. That is correct. This looks like the most happening city in the world. But look, there's no lines. You see? It's great. You see how I planned it for you? It's wonderful. <laughs> Have there been any fatalities on this ride? Hasn't it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. Seriously, it's possible. <laughs> Alright. Okay, thank, thank you. you. I'm kind of not feeling this thing anymore. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not feeling it. I'm scared now. Look how high we are. 
look how we dangling. Do you think the kids would like this? Yeah. I think, I think they would be so scared. They'd be so crying right now. I don't think so. I think Max would be fine. How do you balance spending time with only Gary and with kids as a family? I feel like you deprioritize me. You do? I think I'm not on the top of the list. I think first it's the kids and then it's me. Lately, I've been feeling very guilty with the kids. I know that I should prioritize you. I know. And I do try. But there are times, like right now, what I'm going through, just like trying to find the right harmony of work and you and the kids and myself. It's easier said than done. Yeah, but it's not realistic that at the age of 29 you should have everything figured out. You... But why? How was the arrival of your first kid? How did you manage it? It was completely unexpected. Not the child. We had Jake on purpose. I think it was chaos. I was so out of my element. I had no idea what was going on. It completely just was such a 180 for me because I came from a place where all I had to think about is me to taking care of this little baby. I gotta say, and I probably don't tell you this, I think you're doing a really good job. I really do. And I think maybe part of your anxiety is that you maybe you don't hear it from me. I just don't tell you because I take it as a given. I'm assuming you know that you're doing a really good job. I'm always really impressed with you. So I'll you know what, I think I should be telling you that more because I feel if I did tell you that more, then you wouldn't have this mom guilt because you're doing an incredible job. Well, Great, thank you. Well, that's nice. Look, I cried on the Ferris wheel. Are you crying for real? Yeah. Did you think that I thought you were doing a bad job with the kids? I know if you thought I was doing bad, you would like say something. So you but... needed me to give you that positive reinforcement. Yeah, always. That's my biggest weakness, the kids. I always feel like I'm not doing really? enough. Really? You feel the kids are your biggest weakness? Yeah. It's funny because I feel the kids are your biggest strength. You see, that's why we're doing Q&A. It's like therapy, I tell you. What's funny is people probably pay a lot of money to get to this place. They don't know that they just need to go on social media, yeah, ask people what they want to know, and so, then dive into so it. So basically, we just had a breakthrough. Things are great now, but I think things will only get better. This was nice. I agree. Thank you for joining Gary and mine road trip. For more adventures that we embarked on, click here.